But unfortunately, I have come to the sad realization that gluten and I, it's just not happening. Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you here are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism video is, is going, actually going to be a subscriber request. Tammy has asked me, is there anything that I have cut out as a minimalist? So thank you so much to Tammy for the request. You guys know that I take my video requests very seriously. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go. Mm. So I know that a lot of minimals tend to do these type of videos where there are certain things that they don't eat. It must be just like a minimalism stereotype. Minimalists love to cut and declutter things out of our life and food is no exception to that. So there is actually one thing that I have kind of recently decluttered out of my life and that's actually something that I wanted to talk about with you guys. If you guys have seen the thumbnail, you guys can already guess what it probably is. If you follow me on Instagram, shameless tag, you guys know what it probably is and it's actually gluten. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a background info. I used to have an eating disorder and there was a lot of foods that I didn't eat because they were not healthy and I recovered back in 2019. So it's actually been almost five years since I have recovered and I have brought back all food groups back into my life so i eat carbs meat i guess vegetables anything that was off limits i eat but the thing was for the past five years i've really been struggling with really bad like cystic acne and i kind of had a feeling it was the gluten but for the longest time i just didn't want to accept it because i wanted to be recovered but recently i think since like probably january i kind of decided that no more is no more i just couldn't take it my skin was the worst it's ever been um actually ever so if you guys have watched some of my other videos you guys know that i didn't have acne ever as like a teenager or a child I didn't experience acne till I recovered because my hormones were, I guess, recovering. So to me, it was really strange to like be 30 and having acne for the first time in my entire life. I thought it was really strange. So I did some like research on the internet and it seems like a lot of people would also suffer acne from like dairy or sugar or gluten. So I kind of went through a process of elimination of kind of reducing them to see which one would kind of reduce the inflammatory response. And I found that like dairy definitely affected me quite a lot. All of this is just coming from a place of like i just want better skin my weight is the highest it's ever been oh i actually went to the doctors the other day yeah i weigh 120 i know some of you might be curious about that so yeah i weigh 120 which is the highest i think i've probably weighed in a really long time since like my recovery which is really exciting that is really good news to hear because that is a healthy bmi so yay but anyway the reason that i mentioned that is because i wanted to say that this all of these things is not because i i'm trying to restrict for my weight i don't care you guys know that i have a very curvy body and i'm very happy with a curvy body uh i don't know it just as a latina it just looks really good on me i feel like my weight it gets carried very well so this is not a weight restriction thing or anything like that as a matter of fact i've been eating gluten for you know and carbohydrates and sugar for about five years so unfortunately i have come to the sad realization that gluten and i it's just not happening and you're probably wondering why is it that gluten affects me now and not you know before i you know developed an eating disorder that is a very good question and i have done research on it and the only answer i can provide that i have found is that sometimes people develop food intolerances later on in life and i guess that might be the case for me and if there's a deeper reason to that i have no idea all i know is that once i cut gluten out of my diet my skin within a week was like fully like it was healing. I wouldn't say fully recovered, but like the, just within a week, that transition was such a massive transition that I was like, damn, it really was the gluten. That was it, huh? All the other things, like the dairy wasn't as bad. Like I can still drink kind of like dairy and cream and get away with it, but it's just like the gluten, it just hits so hard and it was causing a lot of cystic acne here, like in my chin, in my jaw, in my like neck, and even like started to go into my neck, like where all the, like the lymphatic system is because of the inflammatory response. So unfortunately, yeah, as a minimalist, I've had to cut out gluten out of my diet because of my skin. So yeah, in terms of like, what do I do for like gluten-free? Um, I, I've been eating a lot of gluten-free bread as my replacer, but even still my skin just wasn't really healing in the same way. I don't know if that stuff is just like processed or it comes into uh, contact with gluten or there's other stuff in there that's just not that great. So I have found for myself like a keto diet or close to a keto diet, or I guess what's considered a paleo diet would probably be similar 
similar or most similar to what my diet is. Essentially, I just don't eat bread. It, it's a pretty simple diet to follow. I eat everything like everybody else and I just don't eat bread. You're probably wondering, oh, what do you do when you go out? This and that. Like I've been living a keto lifestyle for a really long time before I recovered. So there's a lot of things that I'm used to doing that wasn't that hard to go back to. Like you can order burgers with like the lettuce on the bun. While I was in my recovery, I would eat uh, gluten-free bread. Even though it was more expensive, I didn't mind paying for it. But my skin just wasn't healing even with the gluten-free bread. So that is something that I've just kind of reduced. Like I still do have gluten-free bread in the fridge, which I'll have on occasion. It's not a daily thing anymore. I can no longer have it on the daily. Like I can't have it for brunch, like toasted bread for like brunch. I pretty much only eat it maybe once a week, maybe on the weekend or maybe once during the week when I'm really craving it. But it's no longer something that is like my daily staple because I think like now in my older age, as somebody who's, you know, 30, I just, I would rather take care of my health than I guess try to fit societal box. And if bread and, you know, gluten and I are just not vibing, I think it's okay to let it go. And I know that that might be offensive to other people. Some people might feel like I'm not being a good role model, like I'm restricting food groups, blah, 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 blah. And I totally respect that. I understand that as an, like as a content creator, what I do can influence other people. So I just want to make that disclaimer that if eating gluten is not an issue for you, I don't see a reason to cut it from your diet it's just it turned out for me that that was the one thing that was causing my inflammation and once i removed it everything got better so i was like it's just a no-brainer like i was like screw this i just can't keep subjecting myself to painful acne just for the sake of being normal i'm like as a minimalist i'm allowed that freedom to say no to common societal practices that are just not working out for me so gluten happens to be one of them so i was like okay thank you goodbye so i hope that this video could have helped anybody else out who might be struggling with like their skin maybe give gluten a try and cut that out and see if that helps if not then yeah i'm no professional so i can't offer any advice all i can do is offer my own experience and hope that that can help somebody else out so thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to tammy for the lovely subscriber request thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye